All right. Uh, for the warm up today, guys, uh, what we're going to do is uh, practice a couple of uh, twist and straight time and mix the problems, one of each, uh, because tomorrow is your test. All right. I've seen the test. I know what type of problems on it. In fact, you're going to have 10 questions. Um, you'll have about five twist and straight time problems and about five mixture problems. So let's practice um, a couple together for your warm up today. Uh, this first one has a little um, twist to it that I want to make sure you're aware of. So let's go through it together. At 10 a.m., uh, a, a car leaves a house at a rate of 60 miles per hour. Same time, another car leaves the same house at a rate of 50 miles per hour, but it's going in the opposite direction. So picture this. You got one car going one way, another car going the other way. One of them is going uh, 60 miles per hour, and one is going 50 miles per hour. Okay? Now, I don't know how long they travel, but it, at the one, what I'm interested in is at what time the cars will be 330 miles apart from each other. Okay? And I know that they both left at 10 at the same time. So I'm looking for, you know, I got to figure out how long they drove so, so that they got 330 miles apart. And then once I figure that out, I can go back and relate that and say, you know, okay, let's say it took them five hours. Then I can, you know, figure that out, you know, from 10 o'clock, okay, and figure out what time that would actually be. All right, so let's set this up. Uh, we're going to set us up a chart, okay. So on your paper, we make a chart. I'm just going to say uh, car one and uh, car two, all right. Car one, we'll say, was traveling at a rate of 60 miles per hour. And I'll put my rate down here. And this is my time. And remember, it equals our distance, okay. Uh, the second car was going 50 miles per hour. And that's what all they, they tell me. You can't put 10 o'clock in for the time. Time um, is the amount of time that's passed. It doesn't represent the time on the clock, okay? So um, I'm just going to have to put T here. I don't know how long they traveled, but what I do know is that at some point, uh, they will be 330 miles apart. So we're going to say that, you know, they travel the same amount of time. And at that time, they'll be 330 miles apart from each other, okay? So uh, distance would be what I get when I multiply my uh, rate times my time. So 60t here and 50t here, okay? Now, since this is an opposite direction problem, remember, when you do opposite direction problems, you add these two distances together to get the total distance. So I'm going to take the distance of car one, add the distance of car two, and that should equal the total distance, which I tell you is 330 miles. Okay, that's in the problem right here. Okay, so now go back and look in your chart and get these expressions. The distance car one traveled is right here at 60t. Okay, and the distance car two traveled is right here at 50t. Set that equal to 3 -third. This is an easy equation to solve, right? I get 110t equals 330. And now dividing both sides by 110, t is equal to 3. Now stop. Wait. Hold the horses. That is not mean 3 o'clock. That means that at 3 hours, 3 hours have passed. Okay? And at this three-hour time period, the cars are um, 330 miles apart at that three-hour time period, okay? Now, what I need to know is, all right, so th at three hours, they're 330 miles apart. So what time would that be on a clock? Well, what time did they leave? They both left at 10. So add three hours to 10 o'clock, okay? So you have 10 o'clock, then we have... 11 o'clock, then we have 1 o'clock, 10 to 11. Uh, oops, I did that wrong, Miss Felix. Let's go 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and then at 1 o'clock, right, uh, that's when three hours have passed. Okay, so I believe that at 1 o'clock, they will be 330 miles apart. 
Okay, so that would be our answer. Okay. Now, most of all, oh, in fact, just about all the problems we've done up to this point, I was looking for, you know, like how many hours would it take them to do this. But this question had a little twist because you had to relate that back to a time. So from 10 o'clock plus 3 hours would give us a time of 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay? All right. That was kind of a neat question. Uh, let's do uh, a mixture problem now. All right. And this was is one of the liquid ones that deals with percentages. Okay, so uh, let's get that chart set up. Ooh, that's red. It's not going to work. There we go. All right. So we've got, uh, let's see, how many liters of a 70% alcohol solution must be added to 50 liters of a 40% alcohol solution to produce a 50% alcohol solution? My goodness. I'm going to say solution one, uh, solution two, and then, we, of course, we have our mixture. Okay. All right. Uh, let's put our percentages here, and then we'll put our liters here, and then this over here will be the total that we get when we multiply these things together, okay? So, uh, how many liters of a 70% alcohol solution? Well, if this is my 70% alcohol solution, and it says how many liters of that, I'm going to put an X here, okay? Uh, must be added to a 50 liters of a 40% solution. So my second solution has a percent of 40%, and I have 50 liters of that. And I want to produce a 50% alcohol solution. So my mixture needs to be 50% alcohol. Um, I don't know the total amount of liters in my mixture, but if I have X of solution 1 and 50 of solution 2, then the mixture will be X plus 50. Okay, so let's multiply this together, 0.70x, uh, 0.40 times 50, that would be 20. And then this is going to require me to do a little bit of uh, distributing. Okay, remember when you do mixture problems, what you do is you take uh, your two ingredients, in this case solution 1 and solution 2, I add them together to get my mixture. All right, so that comes from this part in my chart, okay? So 0.70x plus 20 is equal to 0.5 times x plus 50, all right? Uh, 0.70x plus 20, you need to solve it from here, okay? And I'm going to uh, subtract my 0.5x here, which is the same thing as 0.50. So now I have 0.20x plus 20 equals 25. Subtracting 20 from both sides, oops, subtracting 20, not dividing. Uh, that would be 0.20x is equal to 5. And dividing by 20 on both sides, 0.20 on both sides. Okay. Gives us 25. Okay. All right. Does that answer the, the question that we have asked? Okay. Let's see. Question said, how many liters of a 70% solution? Well, X is my 70% solution, so it looks like I need 25 liters. Okay, great job. Okay, okay. get started, uh, get out your homework, and let's get that checked. And then we're going to uh, review for your test tomorrow. Okay, good luck on your test.